Hi guys, so this is just going to be a quick little glitter update because I have been making a few, well, actually quite a few lately, and I just wanted to show you guys. So, um, here's the first one. I'm sure you've all seen it. This is the Studio Lorian one that Mr. Panda made, and he actually has a video up on this, so make sure to check it out. And I put these all in baggies, so they might be a little hard to see, but you get the idea. So this one's supposed to be C Sky Abbey, which is my email address. And then, um, this is another one Mr. Panda made, and I actually used a little bit of it to experiment with the glitter. <laughs> he calls it blood. And it has reds and blacks, and I don't know what all is in here. And then, I guess I'll show you all the ones he made first. Um, he made this one. I think he showed this in the video, too. It's Paper Pastels by Panda. And it has purple flecks, and it's really pretty. And then, let's see, what else did he make? Oh yeah, he made... Where is it? Oh yeah, he made another one. This is called Elegant Ashley, because he wasn't really happy with the first one. And this is supposed to be a white, gold, pink kind of glitter mix. I think it's pretty. And then, I think that is the last one. He oh no, he made this one. <laughs> this is um, XOX Rufus. Um, I'm sure you guys know her. She makes amazing charms. And this is supposed to be her. She told us that she likes black, purple, and has green eyes, I think, if I'm not wrong. Sorry if I'm mistaken. So, it's kind of hard to see in this light, but um, purple, black, and then the green flecks, which I think are really, really pretty. So Mr. Panda made that mix. And then we kind of made this one together. I was kind of not teaching him, but showing him how I make my glitter mixes and he was picking colors. This one is Tony Ellison. And again, this is kind of hard to see on camera, but it has kind of, it's a dark blue with kind of teal turquoise flecks and a lighter blue mix. And let's see. And then the rest are ones that I made. This is the first mix I have ever made. It is Sabby Loves. And I think Mr. Panda showed this one in his video too, but um, in the bag, they kind of get separated, but it has these little hearts, and, um, a light purple, dark purple, and it's called Sabby Dino, because Sabby's a dinosaur. And, yeah. Let's see. Oh, and then this one is My Petite Cakes, and, again, the cellophane is separated from the glitter because the weight is different, but if you mix it together in, a, like, a bowl or cup, it looks really nice. And this... It's supposed to be kind of a pastel-y theme, but it has a little purple flecks in it. So, I think it, this would look really, really good in resin. I don't know how it would look on nails, because I really like the 3D effect of the cellophane. So, I think that is more of a resin glitter. And this one is I, I Eat Socks. And she said she liked yellows. So, it's kind of an orangish, yellowish, bright mix. And I think it's really pretty. And then, this one is Mini Whimsy. Um, she used to be called Whimsy Charms, and she made a new account. And this is supposed to be kind of a whimsical. The purple looks darker on camera than it is, actually. But, um, yeah. I really like it. It kind of has silver, white, and a few different purples in here. And I tried not to use too many different shapes of glitter, because I wanted to keep it all the same. So I think this one would look good on nails, it would look good on clay pieces too. And obviously in resin. And then, um, let's see. Oh, this one is Poochie Land. And it is a teal mix. And I don't know if you can kind of see it, but it has kind of a teal, turquoise, and then a light blue. And then it has um, sequins in here too, but you can't really see it. And, not sequins, um, I don't know what you call them. Kind of like confetti. But yeah, so I really like this mix. I like the colors. And then, this one is, um, I call it Teddy Garden because it reminds me of a garden. But this is, um, Teddy Charm HK, um, also known as Panda Choco Bun. And the sand is separating because of the weight difference. But this is, um, I was going for a refreshing, natural kind of mix. And then you can see the pink flecks in here, which are supposed to be kind of like flowers and the sweetness. So I kind of like this mix. I'm not actually a big fan of green, but I think this one's cute. And then this one, I'm really, really proud of this one. It's called Young Panda. And um, I actually want to make a, tutor a tutorial or video on this. So 
Maybe I won't explain it right now, but you can see the different colors in here. Try and guess what colors are in here. And I'll try to get a video up on this mix soon. So, here are all my mixes. And there's a glare. I just dropped one. But yeah, um, I just wanted to show you what I made so far. I'm going to be trying to make more videos on them. Because a lot of people said that they like to watch us mixing them. So, yeah. And uh, Mr. Panda said if you wanted to request glitter mixes by him, you can PM us your favorite colors and maybe your hobbies, you know, and what you like to do because he like he really likes to get in depth with the mixes, you know, he's like he like has a theme for each of them. Like this one, the one he made for XOS Rufus is supposed to be um a young girl becoming an adult. And there's light purple flecks in here. Which is still the young girl part of her, but then the dark purple and then the green put together kind of give it a more mature kind of color and look. So, I don't know. He's like really deep and thoughtful like that. I don't know. Um, so yeah, if you want Mr. Panda or me, I mean, just say who you want to make the mix. We would be happy to. And just, you know, let us know your favorite colors and, you know, hobbies or things you like. And yeah, I think that's it. Sorry, this is getting long. But, yeah, if you have questions, comments, ideas, yeah, um, just post them below. And, um, one more thing, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to sell my glitter mixes. Um, obviously I will be not, I will not be selling them for $10 like Mr. Panda said. Um, let's see. This mix is about two teaspoons. And, um... On Etsy, I've been I saw them being sold for about two dollars, three dollars for half for one teaspoon. So half of this for about two dollars or three dollars. Um, but yeah, I don't think I want to sell in such small um, portions or lots because I think that would be actually quite a waste of shipping because from Japan um, shipping is by weight. So I could send one of these or all of these for the same price because you know it's like the lowest weight line is like 100 grams or something so the price wouldn't change so um i would rather sell like you know this would could be like a youtuber set and i would sell like maybe five different colors for ten dollars so that'd be like five teaspoons for ten dollars does are would you guys be interested in that because i don't think i will be selling them in singles because it's just a lot of extra work and um, it's kind of a waste of shipping, so it is kind of up to you guys if you would buy or not, because if you're not going to buy, um, if no one is interested in buying, I probably won't stock them. So, just let me know what kind of ways you would like them to be sold, and other ideas. So, thanks for watching. Bye!